Hello? Oh shoot, it's already starting. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Their king was a peace their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. Ooh. The song is a little different. But eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Mount Ebon, or Ebon. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. Got my cowboy hat going right on in. <clears throat> oh shoot, he really did. you guys were expecting but anyway welcome to undertale yellow uh something completely different well not completely different but you know anyway um i've been wanting to play this ever since i've heard about it and also like i've been getting that undertale like that urge to play undertale again and it just wouldn't go away until i played this game so you know i had to Setting that up. Got my water. Give this a second. Oh, don't fall. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Weird. Thought it was Wednesday. Anyway. Um, ba -da -ba -da. I wonder if I should full screen this game. I'll probably be fine. I don't think I did that with um Delta Rune, so I think it'll be okay. All right, zero Y enter confirm X cancel C okay. Full screen hold escape quit. Your HP is zero, you lose. Alright, let's get into this. How's the sound? Oh, yeah, I should bump it up just a bit. Alright, there we go. Alright, anyway, let's get into this. Undertale Yellow. There I am, just a little cowboy. <laughs> Wonder what this one's name is. Clove. Oh, <laughs> Clover. Their name's Clover. Uh, well, let me see what it says. The grim reminder of your mission. Justice is needed. Clover, level one. Ba -da -ba -ba, toy gun, worn hat. Ammer. <laughs> ammer. Um, ammo. Rubber ammo. Ace? Or A-C-E? Or A-C-C-E? I don't know. Gold. Well, doesn't this look familiar? Oh, frog it. I know how to act. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Oh, hey! You're already here, Torio. That's got a little scarf or something. The mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. Ah, hello. Are you alright? 
You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Man, it seems like deja vu. It's almost the exact same. <laughs> Alright, one well, like second. There we go. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You're the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. I wonder if it's like around winter time and that's why she's got like a scarf. Oh, there's no save. I feel like I remember every spot where the saves are. The ruins are filled are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between divergents and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, we are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. I was like pushing down those buttons. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. And why would you... In this room, you will need to trigger, se trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press E to read signs. Stay on the road. Never. Oh, do you need some help? Please flip the switch on the north wall. Sure. Press the switch, please, Toriel. Splendid. I'm proud of you, my child. It makes you wonder, like, how many times she just kind of felt like she was living through the exact same thing every single time. Because if she says the exact same thing, or, like, she probably forgets that she says the exact same thing, it's gotta feel like some kind of deja vu, or like she keeps living, th like, living through everything over and over again. Especially if somebody who can save reloads their files. Sorry about that, I hope that didn't make a lot of noise. Also press this switch, please. Toriel. If I press this one. Oh no, my child, that is the wrong switch. I have labeled the one you need to flip. It's not really a puzzle if it's like just one or two switches should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. Oh, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. Oh god, no! Okay, this already feels... <laughs> My child! Are you alright? Oh dear, I'm afraid I cannot reach you. I must sleep for a moment. You will stay here, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait here. We have fallen further into the... <coughs> Excuse me. Undertale Yellow. We have fallen... F oh, we actually have. We have fallen further into this Undertale. It almost looks like I can go that way. Should I actually just wait here? Yeah. The sign is, is obscured by leaves. Only a few words are visible. Caution. X. Run. 
Oh, actually gave him like a little jaunty, um, a jaunty run. Whew. How long does it take to get from here to um, Toriel's house, I wonder? Like if you played the game, that'd be kind of silly if like they actually timed it out like that. Well, while I'm waiting, I better get my laps in. Probably shouldn't wait too long. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oh shoot, I, oh, the missing post, that was what was blown away. The missing poster. When did, oh, I got two gold. I guess from that frog it. Hello? Oh, it's you again, Flowey. It's been, what, years? Howdy, I am Flowey, Flowey the Flower. Hmm, you look confused. Tonya ought to have taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little old me will have to do then. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, mo uh, monsters may try and attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Oh, really? Try, try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. job there, buddy. In case you do get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. Oh, it's a save point. That way, it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate, hesitate to call me. And then I'll save for you, like I just saved for you now. There's one more thing. The king of all monsters, Asgore. He's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and, well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please, be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place. I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck. Oh shoot, my mouse is appearing on screen. Has it been there the whole time? Dang it. Alright, let me just do this. Okay. Howdy! Looks like you've got you got it then. Oh sweet. Why is Flowey being nice to me? Like I'm just saying, man. It's a little it's a little jarring. It's a little jarring, man. What if I save again? What a long face, pal. Don't worry, this place is better than up there. That old lady would have just spoiled all your all our fun. Come on, let's not stand around here all day. Sorry, but I get nervous. I gotta save like four or five times. You really only need one save. Do you not trust me or something? Come on, I'm your pal. I got your back. 
Okay, you're making me think that I can keep doing this. You should get going. You should get going. One more time. You should get going. Oh, I've never seen that side. What if I do it from this side? Really, what is this about? I told you already, you don't need that stupid goat lady. She couldn't have protected you anyway. You have me, I'm way better. I'm your pal Flowey. I'm the only friend you'll ever need. Can Toriel save for you? No. So let's get out of here while we're still young. It continues. You should get going. You should get going. If you give me the option, I'm not going to stop. You should get going. Uh, two more times. One more time. Okay, I think he's done with us now. <laughs> Flyer is giving it a try. Is giving fighting a try. Flyer, um, comfort. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. You're right. Something needs to change. Oh. Oh, oh shoot. They actually get hit by it. <laughs> Flyer's ready to return to his regular life. You won! Earns your XP is 2 gold. I'm so used to doing this, like, in a mercy sense. But maybe I should actually fight them? It's a sign. It says, Exposition in large friendly letters. Exposition. Press this for a do-over. Or don't. Oh. Oh, it's Flyer again. A uh, compliment. You tell Flyer he looks proud. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, criticize. Flyer is reconsidering his reconsiderations. You just have no sense of modern fashion trends. Flies, flies. Bing, 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 bing. Flyer uses hip slang like the kids. How do you do, hello kids? Inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole life. Ha Whole half left to go. You're right, something needs to change. Whoa, it's a single or two fast flies, three fast flies. Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. Make what is dim bright, make what is dark light. Private property, no trespassing. Who lives down here? Whoa. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I am happy to finally meet you face to face. Mm -hmm. 
How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No, too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know, I had no choice. It must be this way. Oi. Huh? Who? I must be seeing things. Not nah, you're seeing the genuine article. Oh, <laughs> Penilla. Uh, distract. You put yourself in between Penilla and her work. I suppose I could use a break. Whoa, whoa, uh, what's going? Oh, okay, this is already a bit harder. Penelope's packing up her art supplies for the day. I gotta find a place to save. Howdy! I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Atrium. Whoa. Sweet corn hops up excitedly. Oh, do they know, um, Vegetoid? <laughs> uh, hug. Give sweet corn a big hug. It briefly gets stuck in your shirt. I love hugs. I love refrigerators. Sweet corn is smiling contentedly. Oh, the piece of corn just wanted the hug. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh, it's a corn maze. Okay. Hey, vanilla. Oh, you are being mean right now. Just this wall of bullets. Boom. Friend, I planted these for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightened mine. Acorn? Penella seems to be dreading this battle. I've been at this for a while. Whoa! Box me in the corner, box me in the corner! Oh no. I found this great new band the other day. Oh. Oh, I'm actually gonna lose. Uh, wait. Uh. Here, one second. I forgot that I actually do better with the controller. Which is funny to think about, because like I beat most of the original games like just with a keyboard and mouse. Well, not mouse, but a keyboard. But if it is needed, then the controller shall be reawakened. Oh, it's a little dusty. How do you get this dusty? I didn't. Like I played Dustroid not that long ago. Uh, 
pantomet. Forgot that it's not that one. Get away. Don't need any flies. This isn't really me. Oh, this is bad. Oh, thank goodness. I gotta get out of here. Again? Okay, you're double safe now. Hey, Flowey, it's not my fault. I need HP. Also, I need this candy corn. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it. Obtain candy corn. Candy corn. Resource 9 HP. Your teeth hurt just looking at it. Dude, candy corn's awesome. Though it is a little sticky. What happens if you keep annoying Flowey at every single save point? Oh, lemonade! According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand, 5G a glass. Take some? Sure. You pour yourself a glass, but there's no attendant to take your money. A poor service. Leave a tip? Sure. How much? Uh, a large tip. You leave 5G in the tip jar. Your conscience feels as light as a feather. There's no lemonade left. Oh, what if it's spiders and you just can't see them because they're so tiny? Would you like something to drink? She opened the fridge. We have water, juice, spiders, Dr. Pepper, spiders. Spiders it is then. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Uh, that's not what Willy Wonka says. Intermediating spikes block your path. It's the unknown. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? Who are you? I enjoyed life before. I did. But I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. <clears throat> See, here's the thing. That can't be Asgore, right? He's not, um, or they're not wide enough. Asgore is wide. Where did that do? Oh, the spikes, right. Sweet corn. Just give you a big ol' hug. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> corn does grow really, really quick. I've, I've grown some before. The only problem is you gotta be really careful towards the end, or else the corn just gets way dried out. I saw something. Oh! Rorim encounters you. Uh, smile. You give a slight smile. Rorim smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Sparkle, 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 spark, spark, sparkle. Rorim mimics your movements. Critique. Oh, what? Really? Critique your appearance. Rorum is very pleased. You look perfect. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Charge of glass. Rorum is looking for his next big project. It's a cat. Yeah. 
There appears, there appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a caterpillar? Makes it a catastrophe is what it is. Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Into the darkness we go, into the unknown! Oh. Oh, it's a bat. Scree! Sup. Decide a bat makes his presence known. Decide a bat hushes you furiously. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush. Hush. Decide a bat twi twitches its large ears. You shout and jump at around trying to scare Decide a bat away. He isn't pleased. Move in silence. Hush. Oh, we're actually getting that a lot earlier. You watch Decide a Bat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Whispers only, please. Hush, hush. Oh, this is definitely a game that I expect you to have played Undertale before. I appreciate that. Um. Watch. You watch the side of that in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Don't shy away. Whoa. Side of gives you a nod of approval. Can I have mercy now? It probably wants me to watch more. You watch the side of in silence. He seems to appreciate it. More quiet, please. Ice, 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 ice. No, the, wait, these are still stalactites? Hear that? No? Good. Oh, shoot. First death. <laughs> I sure heard that. But I don't want to hear it again, okay? Oh! They kind of have like those, um... I've never played the games, but if it's like one of those um, Arkham Asylum things. Where like, when you die, the um, whoever killed you has like... <laughs> some dialogue right after. Okay, I know what to do now though. It's like that cold really chill you to the bone. If I had half a mind, you'd be dead twice or something like that. Pun about penguins. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing maybe the music gets quieter because I feel like it was starting to get quieter. Yeah, the music is getting quieter. Sadabat is ready to return to sleep. Whoa. That was like a super mercy. Super spray. Oh, you have an overworld spray. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. 
I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Do I have a ponytail? I think I have a ponytail. Woo! What's up, Flowey? Howdy. You seem to be doing well. Only one death. See, aren't you glad to have me around? It's great to, to be such a needed friend. Stop reminding me of my failures. <laughs> Whoa, Crispy Scrolls looking for someone to talk to. Uh, transform? You and Crispy Scroll perform a magical transformation sequence. Uh, he's going. Whoa! He's going Super Saiyan. Made Crispy Scroll's day. Crispy Scroll can't handle the excitement and rolls away in a daze. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that, Crispy Scroll. Man, I didn't even go like two feet and I didn't save already. What? Not happy with your death tally? Have you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? That's assuming that I wanted the message to be delivered. Aw, oh, sweet corn. Oh, wait, a sweet corn, a piece of um, candy corn? They kind of look like a piece of candy corn. Save more later. I need the help. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I'm good at those. You already feel the cavities. Oh, yeah, these are candy corn. Candy corn A and candy corn B. Give Sweet Corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. No oh, well, hugs. <laughs> Remember, I always love you. Castle the gate. It doesn't budge. Oh, that is a fake wall. Haha! <laughs> um, yell. You join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? Oh my god! I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Are we already playing hard mode? 
Crispy scroll hit 100%. He has reached cri super crispy mode 2k. Oh, well, I have some lemonade. Heals seven HP. It doesn't smell too appetizing. How it's lemonade? I seem to reco recall what I once saw so often. What I remembered, it seems, is now forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. It's a stray feather. Take it. You got a stray feather. Armor defense too. An old forgotten feather. It needs good preening. You stick the feather in your hat. It gives you a proud feeling. Stuck a feather in his cap and called macaroni. A snake or two. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past him. Watch me. slower than this. He is sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. Torches. Oh, I'm not controlling this now. Hey, buddy. You need mm -hmm. to talk. Ah! Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know who you are, but I ask you. Please leave. Ah, shoot. Somebody started their motorcycle. I swear. The water looks refreshingly unclean. Oh, some corn. There's corn on the cobweb. I swear. <laughs> corn on the cob. A lot of corn puns. There's a lot of corn. There's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it. Obtain corn dog. Corn dog restores 12 HP. A genuine corn dog with soft, fluffy ears. Why would I eat the corn dog? Pile of crates, all containing corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. Don't step on the flowers. told me that earlier. Oh, shoot. Okay, I see. I know where we are. Oh, wait, there's a safe here, isn't there? Save, flee. Flee, we must flee. Howdy. Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. Property of Dolv, that monster in the cloak. No trespassing. Dolv. You're still following me. I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. Honestly, this is the only way forward. I don't understand. You... 
You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough for you. So you haunted me down. Right? What? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody. But you've invaded my home. The exit is, lo is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Hello. Only one thing to do. Are you a vampire? Dolph musters his fighting spirit. What's up, Dolph? Uh, talk. Dolph does not seem to value communication. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? Oh, the motorcycle's back. Uh, that would be easier for both of us. Oh god. Dolph takes a, a break to brush off his cloak. Uh, handshake. Dolph doesn't notice your offer for the blue will. Where did you come from, anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. Oh! Can you see that? Dolph seems to be in conflict from his more humane side. All I know is that somehow you, f you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dolph wants to be left alone. The other monsters, did you pester them as well? Not that I cared much to keep up with their activity. Dolph takes a break to brush off his cloak. This region of the ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Whoa. Whoa. Dolph doesn't notice your offer. But it seems as if you've never got the memo. That or you're purposely ignoring my wishes. What's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you under- don't you remember me? God, I really like how it lights up the back. I know you aren't a phantom, but... Could it be that... No, it isn't possible. Okay, there's the strap. Oh, that's what he had on. You... You look so helpless. Different. But is it a friend? No. You aren't trying to hurt me. You... You aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize, I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how I can make things right now. Dolph looks unsure of what to do. Handshake. 
left off and said to your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand? Even after I wrongfully attacked you? You're gonna have like a joy buzzer on your hand. That is a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it safe where you come from? I'm not sure I didn't ever expect to, to meet another human, let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think. I don't really remember what it entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Super spare. What do friends you do actually? Do you want to um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess I'll stop. So I guess stop by if you have time. Oh, what? I have to um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. Actually, please, little mom, the floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. Oh, nice. Alright, I know you're probably eager to get going. But feel free to stay as long as you like. You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write to write books, like for little kids and stuff. The table is covered covered in colorful pencils and pages, strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside this place, so I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting that, like that anyway. It might not be as educational though. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. Oh, sponge cake. Like... God, when was it that I made this? Was it really last year? Because the oven... Right now the door to my, um oven is kind of broken. It's been that for like about a year. So I guess I made a Costello a while ago. It was really good though. Dang, it doesn't even feel like it was that long ago, but I guess it was. Got the sponge cake. Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. A small table for one sits in the corner. You can't help but notice the fine craftsmanship. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops a space? He likes the dark. We have goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. It's a flower pot full of dirt. That's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time. But I don't rush him. Wait, aren't turnips an underground vegetable? It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Corn. Gentlemen, behold! Corn! This time will be different! <laughs> uh, someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started, to, I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something had... Uh, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but somehow I thought they were my friends. 
I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. I planted the last cob of corn I had down there. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. There's a broom. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. Uh, let's look at something else, okay? That's what you want. I'll lead the way. I'm assuming at some point I'm supposed to get like above into um got um into like the above underground because I have to get to Ascor's castle at some point. Well, here we are. Thank you for everything. You've really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up, but I think I'm ready to leave to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talents sh show. I can publish my novel and have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately okay. So much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Let's not, uh, let's get you out of here. Oh. Seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. Whoa. You are strong. There we go. All set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked your name. Mind informing me? Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Oh, Clover. Thank you so much. <clears throat> see you later. Friend. Leets. <clears throat> Undertale Yellow. Oh, we're in Snowden. Or at least some part of it. Oh, this is weird. The original text on the sign was crossed out. Now it reads Entry Forbidden. In the blue cra in blue crayon. <clears throat> Can that go back? Who will I meet this time? There's lots of trees and there's this stuff. Oh. Congratulations on being rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. You won't be anywhere near it, your fancy surface air for a while. Now, let's get moving before my pedals freeze. Hop to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't, bud. 
It's gun hat. That's right. It's Clover. Clover. Nice name there. I thought I was the only flower around here. Well then, Clover. Let's get a move on. I'll see you up ahead. Hopefully somewhere warmer. Oh yeah, it's a flower. I bet he doesn't like this that much. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you even need a save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get moving out there. Delta Rock. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it? It was just some dirt on the snow. You wipe your hand on a suspicious carving on the rock surface. That there is the Delta Rune. That there is the Delta Rune Chapter 2. There's an igloo here. Um. Compliment. You compliment the igloo's fine craftsmanship. It's an igloo. Thanks, I mean, igloo? The igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding, it's just an igloo. Dance. You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. Oh, it's like a hermit crab. Um, hi. Can I join? That's cute. And I got hit by the ice. Froster mint is coming out of its shell then. You start doing a crab walk dance. Froster mint jumps in. Next time, I'll be. friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. Makes for a great exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Feel heat coming from the pile of stones. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Where are we lost? It's a big, imposing rock. Seems to perfect, be perfectly blocking a cave entrance. Passing looks impossible for the time being. a box. Dear God, there's more. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay in there. Until you take it out, that is. Then it's not there. And there are more of these boxes later. You could use them to retrieve stuff you put in the box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater.
I assume because it's like a storage system. Inspect. Just an igloo. Just an igloo. Wait, did you say that already? You think he saw that igloo move a bit? Start streaming. Those usually give you a good amount of energy. There's a fishing hole cut in the surface of the ice. Twitter, this is where they went. Uh, recap, uh, recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check. Crunch. <laughs> well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. That's good enough for me. Next up, Honeydew Resort. Swoosh. Swoosh. Oh, excuse me. To him it may concern. In accordance with the Royal Guard Guide Book Section 4, Paragraph 2. This puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area of Snowden and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear of what they mean by that, so just go with it. To pass this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking through. Signed, Marlet, the Underground Royal Guard. P.S. One of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed that it was sticking the other way, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS. I just realized you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly, or is freakishly tall. Especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and hope that it doesn't get stuck. PPPPS. I haven't been informed that the amount of PS's on the sign is unseemly. I'm very sorry for the trouble they've caused.
Oh, I see now. machine is full of liquid ice. Good man. Hey, you. Can you help me? Can you help me off this pole? I've been here for two hours now. Three dogs came and saw me to lick it. Due to the cold weather, I'm now stuck. My mom told me to go back and die in the month too. Please help. Uh, I got lemonade, candy corn patch. I don't have anything to help you, man. Can I get water from that thing? Can I get the rock? I don't think warm water is the best idea for this, but I mean, I guess it could work. Oh shoot, my headphones fell off. Excuse me. Howdy. How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It'd be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. Dear owners of Dilapidated Cabin, First, I'm very sorry your cabin is dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it's unfortunate. Second, I'm sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 42, Paragraph 1, so long as notice is given to the original owner of it, owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores must be reported for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I don't... I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this. Or, consider this our notice, I think is what they said. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but, you know, notice. Barrel. Uh, some wood, presumably, taken off the dilapidated shack. You notice a blue feather behind it. So What's up, man? I read something in a book once. It said, 
If life comes at you too fast, press B and take it slow. Whatever that means. Ice pellets, yes. Obtain the ice pellets. In Saminat. Oh, dang, these are starting to sound like Pokemon. You attempt to sing a quiet level by and summon out this board. Uh, know anything more upbeat? Summonat of the dangers of sleep deprivation, it ignores you. Yeah, yeah, don't talk to strangers. Dang, really? Yikes, that looked painful. Brush yourself off and get back at him. Welcome back. The snow castle. How cute. Oh, this is completely different.
is asleep. What's this? A new customer? Bam! Who am I? Nobody of note, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. I don't know, Spamton kinda got it's got you beat. Wham, I am Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You are looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know you're that. So you want this here beverage? Sure. No you don't. Liquids are so last season. Solids? Ha! Season before them. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be li- Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, I haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low, incredibly low price of 15G, I can have your, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate and now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest? Sure. I knew you would be. Dang, I'm good. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Lukewarm should be able to get him free. Great choice. Enjoy that pop, buddy. Dying sucks, right? Right? So try not to do it again. I'm trying, but for some reason that is like the hardest thing ever. And they spawn in the same places. Oh, you want coffee? Better find a coffee, Zilla. <laughs> no, just kidding. Didn't mean to buy 
another one. Piping hot chocolate cooled to lukewarm status. Uh, no cone comes to see if you're made of fire, you aren't. Educate. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot, melt no cone? No cone not know this. You good friends no cone. No cone has been enlightened. The snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. Oh. You open the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. You fool. I would go until the end. a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a mail whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us the UGPS. So I hear you're new to the Underground. How, you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. Oh, that's cute. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful invitation or innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to the station. They look like this and they're all scattered about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give it a shout. We assure you they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we are anything but dated. Talking and sharing, all using the mail. From your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now I must be off, the mail must be late. See you later in your journey, mate. friend right here from to our space whether you roam or stay in one place we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face here's to more mail without any stress hope to see you again the UGPS oh, I was about to say that didn't uh, rhyme but it brought it home Just checking. Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? Let's take a look. You don't. What a shame. If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. How dare you be such an adorable, charming, pink little whale. Oh! Humph. 238. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. No matter how much they throw, this ice no, uh, 
No matter how much they throw this ice into the river, the pile never lessens. Yeah, it's an allegory for your like first job. It's like you have this job and you're making money, but it's like it never ends. Howdy. I must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. We can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Asgore, I don't see why we need him. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. The remnants of a snowman. Once full of life. Now full of potential for new life. It's a snow puff. Hey, watch it! Oh ho ho! Would you look at that? I don't think this chump wants to pass. Or I think this chump wants to pass. Excuse me. Swig Toast, come over here. Yeah, boss. What's up? You need a shave? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ha! Huh. You ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, nowhere. Uh, will you two put a lid on it? <clears throat> anyway, the name is Refill. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're going to have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Uh, do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will ya? Jeez. We shufflers prefer to sell things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win? You can pass. You lose. We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? Uh, that makes things easy then. Here we go. Okay, I'm kind of good at these things. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Told you I'm good at these things. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast, let's simmer down. I already forgot the voices I gave the other two. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss. Shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the Shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name, and we'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend, right, boys? Yeah, you got a problem, we'll handle it. Yeah, handle. You spread the word of the shuffler's rain yet? It's a pr it's pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know. It's stressful having to run the gang and run our publicity too. Remember, if you ever need anything, we'll be there. There'll always be more monsters that need an inconvenience, and you get me. I need to resort. Oh, 
Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, Honeydew's Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. East, I thought you said weast. Weast, what compass you read, lad? This one's her. Looks like a bear that fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Well, it's not too bad for honey to get cold. Hello. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang. Hmm. But I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting out of the loop. Cozy looking campfire. The sweet scent of honeysuckles wafting from the flames. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. It's pretty great. Uh, let's put the patch in here. This way to the hot spring. Is this a honey tower? Now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crud for my taste. At least that helps thing keep things interesting. I always wonder if I should give Flowey like a bit of a like southern accent. That's the word I was looking for. Ooh. Now this is what I'm talking about. Nice and cozy. You notice a sticker on the heater. Crafted with love by Chu Jin and Marlin. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stressed. But you know why that is. I have a theory, see? Because there ain't, because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and an imminent starvation. Excuse me. And so on. Those are important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not. Though, and you know what that is. Why that is. Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how m much I'll... You know how much part I'll have in it. None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. And that's how much you should have to. Everything's got like a honey, like, style to it. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Hello. W welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. Was that the line? Uh, honeydew coffee, pancake, GB bear, and a pin. It's shaped just like my face, apparently. I'll take the coffee though. Ugh. I appreciate the offer, but. My dad would grab me if I bought items off strangers. That's what he always told me. Don't buy items off strangers. <laughs> um, well... This resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Wasn't my great great grandfather? I. Ugh. I can't answer the question. This customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. So, uh, more about this place. Our amenities are great. The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine, 
Oh, and the spe and the space heater. That's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Ku of Chujin. His apprentice helped him as well. He worked on in steamboats ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. I always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. Hope it does you too, if you were there, which you weren't. I'll shut up now. It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some come from the hot spring. But the monsters love her coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from their forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. The band. The band. Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear the new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... and... oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, watch the band, Looked like he was in a trance every time you watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but the thought of socializing that much always scares me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him I he's always welcome here. See ya, thank you for being so kind. A kid, the get-up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place, that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness from and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging out with those wild guns, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they used in hotels. Watched, watched them to buy their favorite brand of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm just content to sit and listen. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of the little band here. We travel all over the underground performing for all the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear too? Sounds good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that like a little time themselves. Confession time. I claim to be a musician. But I know nothing about reading sheet music, scales, intervals, any of that. That's why I just hit things with sticks rhythmically for a living. Well, as long as you can carry the beat. You hear sounds coming from the plant. Why do I hear sounds from the plant? What's up? Glad you could stop by for a listen. Mind if I ask you a question? What's your better? Minor skills or major skills? Major skills, man. Sad. I thought we might find another minor skill fan. Everyone I've talked to likes major skills. Can't be happy all the time. Sometimes you need to switch it up. Even though I'm alone in this debate, I can tell you have a good taste in music. Maybe one day you'll grow to love minor skills like me. A cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum. Oh. Oh. Weird. 
Feel free to slack off for a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. Well, I mean, I might as well now. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens and my warmth is, sym warmth is symmetrical. But I think I left... I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. I know where it is, I just can't get it. Oh, that's a sock. log has a face. Or at least part of it does. There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. Can I go in here? Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. Not sure if that's a good thing. Are you a vegetoid? This is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I've wanted to come here forever, and this is finally my chance. It's worth the wait. This is complete bliss. You're gonna cook yourself. You look kind of familiar, I think. Kind of remind me of the rabbit. The rabbit with the rabbit on the leash. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If it, if I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. Oh, what's up? Whoosh. Nah, you knocked it over again. Um, bridge slippery during snowfall. Not ready. Royal guards thinking they're all special. They don't have a screening process like they used to. How they interview these bozos. Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes. Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It's it was perfectly nice bridge, once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. Pepperidge Farm remembers. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. Well, like this bridge. What's this? Alright, I should probably take that guy coffee before I forget. Because games like this always cut off parts of the map later on. You are pretty fast, kid. Like you're running away from your past. From Clover. You can't hide what's inside. What's up, man? You take out a cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, crazy? That thin is, is steaming. I need something hot, not that hot. 
dude, what do you want from me? I'm pretty sure Flowey is waiting for Asgore to collect at least enough souls from the use. So in the meantime, maybe he's just like... Maybe he's just guiding us so that we get there faster. doing this on purpose. Nice. Right, bridge is back to normal, man. Or ma'am. Strange. That wasn't a handsome bridge last I looked. Was it always that way? Where am I? Where am I? Whoa. Ten steps to the east, second sign. Why are my headphones acting up so much? Like they keep slipping. Is my head oddly shaped? Trihecta wobbles forward. Uh, climb. You attempt to climb the trihecta. Tri pushes you away for stepping on them. Look, Ma, no hands. Whoa. That's trippy. Whoa. Push Trihecta away. I'm on top of the world. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, these are trippy. Trihecta topples over. Squeak. Everyone okay? Try Hector regroups and bickers. Later, guys. Ten steps to the east, third sign. Ten steps to the west, first sign. Worm sign. Ten steps to the west, second sign. It's a sign to show you that a sign is a sign, sign, sign. Sign, 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 sign. Sign, sign cosine tangent. You look in, you take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. You got the coffee bean ammo. What? Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. Drawn Delta Room. Tilly 
suspicious. What? There you go. It's like, bitch, you can't do it twice. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a nice little spot. A wooden bench. A wooden bench. A bench that is wooden. You notice a fresh pancake lying under the bench. Take it. Not enough space. Why's there a pancake down there? Lemonade, candy corn, corn dogs, sponge cake, lukewarm, pop, 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 coffee, and coffee ammo. Uh, let's put the lukewarm pop, or the hot pop. Give me the pancake. Obtain honeydew pancake. Ooh, nice. I didn't even have to buy one. Howdy. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure aren't impre weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Oh, you actually have a guard station, too. Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right na right there. Seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you need to, wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on the poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. He was totally human, so like... Transitive property in or something like that. Actually... I think he was from space, or... Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for a royal guard protocol? Hope you are, because I memorized it. Now we must fight! A martlet of the royal guard has encountered a human. Prepared to apprehend. Protocol 1, be courteous and allow the opponent first attack. But if I never attack, what then? You ignore Martlet's rambling and it doesn't look like she's noticed. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. Okay, it's okay. I space out and mess stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Uh, I... Uh, hold on. I have a guidebook on me. I'll check what I'm... What, I'll check what to do when it doesn't, someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh... Take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Uh, okay. I'm really sorry for the way I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I have apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Aha! Royal guards are the proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2, my attack. 
Whoa, whoa. Okay, you're business. You mean business. You tap your wrist impatiently. Martla looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. That was only a warm up. Prepare for the World Guard Gauntlet. Whoa. Whoa. Are you throwing things at me? Hiya. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. What? That was a one and done? Come on, you lost to this rookie. Step it up, pal. Martlet. A little scatterbrained. Take a yawn. Martlet still talking. Starts talking faster still. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Okay, she said this. You tap your foot on the ground. Martlet tries talking even faster. Ah, royal guards proceed to the next step without hesitation. I assume if those hit you dead on, that's when they kill you. Take this, intruder. Whoa! Oh, wow. flavor of something that was once hot and left sit for too long. It isn't great. You recovered it. Jeez. 
actually pretty hard. gloves on me. That isn't very nice. Stop dropping things. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more, one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn. I'm gonna check the handbook again. So all this lack of movement makes you realize how cold it is. See, when I apprehend that when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se. But she scolded me and I got real and she scolded me and got real aggressive like What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear those feathers out of your head. Would you mind being more aggressive like her? Uh insult? Call Martlet a weenie. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. You are making this as easy here. Here I go. Pro and all that for the world guard. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Getting jevil but flashbacks, getting jevil flashbacks. Lemonade. It's very sour. We recovered seven. Give another try. I believe in you. You forcibly tell Martlet you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. Salt Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about on that one. I've kind of been on probations for a while. One more misstep, and I can say goodbye to Royal Guard Dumb. And all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my Royal Guard discount, all the movies, my nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. Oh, you, Spirit Bee? If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. 
You'll be at home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but a din- for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Garden. Plead your case to ask her. There's no way you can turn down a cute little face like yours. Meet me up at- Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Man, like... You know that this kid is pro- is, You know that this kid isn't gonna make it. But like, everyone is trying. There's a notebook on the counter titled, My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet um, sketches her puzzle ideas. Oh, I like the lights. Alright. Howdy. Great job once again. I hate that so many monsters are ruthlessly attacking you. But you're handling it with grace. I'm not sure I trust this one. Lucky for us, she doesn't seem too put together. We can ditch her as soon as we as she messes up something up. I'm sure it won't take long. <laughs> Alright. I think that is a good place to stop for today. Honestly, that boss battle was like I don't know if I just wasn't thinking right or if I was just stressing out over nothing, but that was actually pretty hard. They really do have some good people on the road guard. Alright, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game, and I can't wait to see more of it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.